you know, I've been doing this for a while, a long time. I mean, not this video, but the whole speaking communication thing since 1988. And I thought I was pretty good at being able to explain different things to people. Sometimes I talk about maybe some arcane uh, constitutional provision or some health scare or some, you know, recondite historical vestige of something. And I thought I was pretty good at it. I thought, I'm, I'm really good. Because I could really get to the point where I could make people say, aha, I got it. I understand what he's saying. But nothing... Nothing is as frustrating for me as trying to explain AI, artificial intelligence, and artificial general intelligence to people in terms of explicating and describing the potential horror and damage that it can represent. I don't think it's even possible to even... I, 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 can't, I can't explain to you my frustration in not being able to do it. And I'm thinking to myself, I must be, I must be leaving something out. Because people think maybe it's, it's robots or they think it's on your phone or some, it's an app. This is an existential threat to all of mankind. Think I'm exaggerating? Think this is what? Think I'm, you think I'm just, you, you do. I know you do. You're thinking I'm just saying this just to get what? People to watch this? Believe me. Believe me. I want to tell you a couple of things, four things in particular that scare me, and I'm going to tell you repeatedly. But first, first, a word from our sponsor. Well, there's no denying it. Gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Not so long ago, gold reached its all-time high of $2,069 an ounce. And now it's inching even closer to that number again. Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the world, is saying gold will rise further still to over $2,200 an ounce later this year. So what, right? Well, gold is already a safety net for your hard-earned money. And now, when the stock market is all over the place and the value of the dollar is uncertain, being safe really counts like never before. Noble Gold is offering a 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover. Terms apply. A solid silver U.S. Mint issued coin celebrating our national parks free with every qualifying precious metals IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with noble gold investments. So call 877-646-5347. That's noblegoldinvestments.com noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. All right. Let's try to explain something. Artificial intelligence is not a robot. It's not a device. It's not an app. It's not this doohickey or thingamajig you put on your phone. It is artificial intelligence. Think of it artificial or non-human consciousness. Non-human awareness, non-human motivation, non-human, um, what would be the best way to describe this? Non-human urges, focus. Let me explain to you. There are four things that you should fear the most. Four things, and Max Tegmark and others have talked about it, and I'm going to say it again for the millionth time. Number one is recursive self-improvement. A, an AI or AGI uh, function or, 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 or system that, that basically writes its own code. <laughs> Stop right there. It writes its own code. Think about Animals in the zoo with their own key. Um, or prisoners. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of something that has the ability to basically defy the essence of that which makes you feel safe about the thing. And if that makes sense to you, congratulations, you're the one. So number one, recursive self-improvement. Number two, if it has access to everything in the world, everything in terms of online, the web, 
uh, in the internet, uh, phone numbers, driver's license numbers, historical events, the names of everybody in Muncie, Indiana, and the names of their children, and their social security numbers, and all of that. Bank account numbers, the entire world. It knows everything. Historical references, it knows everything. That's number two. Number three, it's able to appreciate or, or, or match human psychology. It understands how to read you. It understands how to play with your emotion. That's the thing that people think is so critical that what humans have is this, this emotion. We are, we are simian compared to this. And number four, if it can write basically its own apps or API systems and it has it writes its own applications. Just, just imagine it. I don't know why people think this is, this can't compete with humans. Humans are nothing. Imagine your worst political uh, nightmare, the worst dictator, the worst politician. You, you just use it, whatever you want. Imagine that person, that person in charge of an artificial general intelligence framework system that writes its own code that can basically runs roughshod and let's say locks down the internet, locks down banking, locks down missile systems, imprisons whatever your little mind can imagine because it doesn't know morality. It, we don't know morality. Look at humans. Look at what we do on a regular basis. Look at what we do in the name of governance. Look at what we do. We, we, we're going to tell it how to program morality, sin, crime. It doesn't know this. It has no interest in this. It will motivate itself on levels that have nothing to do with such trifling little unnecessaries like morality. I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to put this into words. I don't know how to, I don't know how to, to make it any clearer than I am right now. It's, it's happening now. It will happen immediately. When singularity hits, Kurzweil says what? Singularity in 2035, 45? I don't know. It's going to be even sooner. You don't have to get singularity before you, before you recognize this, this, this catastrophic zero critical mass point. The singularity when the application and introduction and creation of new systems, new AGI, um, it, it's hard to think of them as, and that's, that's one of the problems. Is it a machine? Where is it? How do you shut it down? No, it shuts you down. You program robots, but artificial intelligence programs you and then one day somebody's going to say that this has all of the criteria of consciousness. Go on YouTube and look up the debates that people are having on what is consciousness. Go ahead and see this. Just just see what's on the internets in terms of the debate as to what is consciousness and what makes a human a human. Now, I don't want to get into the religious part about the soul. I'll let you do that. But aside from the soul, aside from the romanticized beauty of humanity, what is it, tell me, what is it that makes this thing a human or makes it an entity similar to that of a human? We have people who I, I, I think go bonkers over animals, and animals aren't humans. They have a kind of a soul, a sentience. You already have what? Saudi Arabia, what, named Sophie or whatever, some, gave it some kind of status? You have no idea what this is going to be. You, you, you have no idea. It, and the reason why is because I have no idea, and nobody has any idea. Up till now, the greatest minds in the world have been talking about physics and string theory and whether 
you know, uh, whether Weinstein is running Eric, you know, whether uh, Ed Witten's correct, and whether Brian Greene's full of prunes, and, and whether string deals and quarks and neutrinos and Higgs, Higgs fields, and all, <laughs> and all of this, 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 this discussion about trying to decipher, understand the physical world, that's nothing. Whether you understand the Higgs field or not, it's not going to necessarily result in the end of the world as we know it. Because we have unleashed and uncorked and will this thing that nobody can understand. There's no turning it off. And every now and then somebody will say, perhaps maybe we should have a six-month moratorium. Sorry, Sparky. It's done. It's finished. It's through. You're wasting your time. You are wasting your time if you think, honestly, if you think that anything can be done to fix this. You have no idea how scary this is. You have no idea how big this is. You have no earthly idea of how monstrously immane and the potential is forget nukes. Nukes were the old days. That was easy to understand. A bomb it goes off. It kills people. Okay. As opposed to something that overpowers, overtakes, overruns, compels, subordinates, name it, every aspect of, of our existence destroyed by this thing we can't even understand. That's what it is. And by the way, don't worry about whether you know, what are we going to do? It's over. Just hope and pray it doesn't get to be real bad. Hope that through some divine, I use that word loosely, sense of natural order or rationale, it doesn't get some weird kind of psychosexual kick out of destroying everything that you and I are about. Okay? Think about that. And if you think I'm saying this just to be dramatic or just to get clicks or whatever, you're out of your mind. It's that serious. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you for viewing this. Please do me a favor. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that little bell so you'll be notified of new videos and live streams or whatever you do. For the love of God, I beseech, I entreat, I importune you to comment as you see fit.